uh, from Peter. And Peter says that because you have been born anew in Christ, love one another deeply from the heart. So maybe you're not someone whose diagnosis is that you've got this hard stone heart. Maybe your diagnosis is you do have a heart of flesh, but that heart of flesh has been so beaten up by life that your capacity to experience and give love has been compromised. That you're in a place where, yeah, I know that I'm supposed to love, I know I'm supposed to experience love, but I just don't feel it. My heart is just, it's just not capable of even processing love. Life has beaten me up so much. So what's the solution to that? Is the solution to that that you work harder to follow all the rules so you can be a better person? Or is the solution to say, God, I need you. I can't love myself, I can't love anybody else until I experience your love in my life. So one of the things the Holy Spirit does in Romans 5 is God's love has been poured out into our heart through the Holy Spirit that he's given to us. So maybe you're at a place where your diagnosis is not that you need a brand, a whole heart exchange, but you just need to have your heart, your love receptors turned on. Your capacity to just experience love, maybe it's hard for you to even for allow people to love you. In the process, if you can't let people love you, it's hard to feel God's love too. So I want to pray for you, if that's your diagnosis, that you need God's love to be poured afresh in your heart. But Lord, some of us have hearts of flesh, but those hearts of flesh don't know how to feel love or give love, even though we want to. We know that we can only love others as we experience your love in our life. And we pray, Lord, that you would pour out your spirit into our hearts today and bring healing to our damaged hearts so that we truly can love ourselves deeply, we can love you deeply, and we can love our neighbor deeply from the heart. Amen. Amen. And finally, the last one, the road to Emmaus. Jesus walks along with the two disciples who are a little bit confused. They, they sort of have the pieces, but they don't all make sense. And Jesus sort of walks along with them and what did they say after he disappears? We're not our hearts burning within us as he opened the scriptures to us, as he talked to us. So maybe for some of us the problem isn't that we have a dead heart that needs a heart transplant. Maybe it's not that we are just have a heart that needs to experience some love. Maybe what we need is just a heart that is set on fire, that our heart's sort of cold, that we maybe we're sort of confused. And it's we're like those disciples. We don't understand what God's up to. We're sort of thinking, well, yeah, I, but yeah I'm a Christian, but I don't, this stuff doesn't make sense. I'm not really sure what God's up to. And we just sort of come to church out of habit, but we really don't sense God's word being open. We don't sense God's presence. And for us, for you, if that's you, my prayer for you is that your heart would be warmed. Your heart would be set on fire. One of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is to bring the Word alive to us. That I know I've had times in my life where I just had experiences of God's Spirit coming upon me, not only for love, but there's times when God's Spirit comes upon you that He gives you a new hunger, a new thirst for the Word, where you start to see things make sense that didn't make sense before as God opens things up. So my prayer for you is that He would lead you into a, a chapter of life where your heart is set on fire where your hunger for God's Word starts to um, grow, where things start to make sense, where you hear things and it's not just empty, confusing words, but that all of a sudden you read that scripture, you hear that message, and you think, well, that's what God's been trying to say to me. It makes sense. So my prayer for you now is if you need to have that heart to be set on fire, to start burning in you, um, that God would do that. So Lord, some of us don't need new hearts, we don't need to have our love capacity increased, but we are just sort of confused and dry. And we need you to set our hearts on fire, to have the scriptures open to us, to understand more what this is all about, and to be drawn closer to experience your, your presence more fully. In Jesus' name, amen.